Welcome back to Nanon Projects. Today we're going to be replacing the top on our 89 Turbo GTC LeBaron. You can see right now it's the worst part about this car. If you haven't seen the earlier videos of us reviving this after it sat for I think almost 17 years, go check that out. We also did a, a detail getting everything looking as good as it can, which is not the best. You know, it's got some issues from sitting outside exposed to the elements for so long. Neglected, really. But I think getting a new top on this is going to give this a lot more life. So I've got a new top. I ordered it from eBay. Just the cheapest top I could find, really, because, I mean, it's going on this car. Yeah, I got a black top because I'm not a huge fan of the white tops on these kinds of cars. Let's not waste some time. First things first, we are going to need to remove the old top. To be honest with you guys, I have never done anything like this. I understand... Or my understanding is that it's kind of a bear of a job, but hey, I mean, anything seems like that before you do it, right? So we're going to give it a go. I got the factory service manual here. If by some chance you are also trying to replace the top on your LeBaron, I will link everything in the description. Uh, step one is we're going to remove the inner headliner. So yeah, I'm going to set you up and I'll get it out of the way. Forgot to mention I do have the top unlatched and in the relaxed position. That's what the service manual says, so that's what I'm doing. Apparently step one is remove this Velcro. You see how it goes here. I've already done that while I was detailing on this side, so I'm just gonna do it on the other. Next we have a bunch of quarter inch screws holding the headliner onto the third roof bow. You can see there the headliner's torn away from a couple of them. We'll have to address that later. Pro tip, don't put your head directly under that. Lots of junk just fell out on me. Now we've got another row of screws to remove. So we're just gonna keep moving forward until the headliner's out. All right, there's our headliner. And honestly, it's not in that rough of shape considering the condition of the rest of the car. So we're gonna set that in a safe place. Personally, I like to organize bolts and screws on a project like this with, with Ziplocs that you label. Everybody's got their own thing, but I find this really helps stay organized. All right, next we're gonna remove the bolts holding the rear tack strip to the trunk area. These things. Okay, now the rear tack strip is separated from the deck panel. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the tack strip brackets to the quarter panel. These are the nuts that we're removing. And you can see how the rear tack strip pulled away now. Looks like somebody was here before us. I'm missing a nut. Whoops. No, no. That's not good. That's just awesome. All right, I got my socket back, and these actually seem to be 13s for anybody playing along at home, so half inch would be a little bit tight. Now I can pull this tack strip away from the quarter panel. Ooh, and it is filled with some nasty stuff. There we go. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, you can see we have the tack strip separated from the quarter panels in the deck in the other quarter panel. So now we're going to reposition this up top. And due to the fact that I don't really care about this paint, it's in pretty rough shape, I'm not going to cover it up with anything, but if you were doing this on a nice car, obviously you'd want to put a blanket or something. Okay. Okay, the service manual says now to mark where the outer top cover meets the tack strip, just for ease of reinstallation. I don't know exactly what that means. I'm guessing it means marking this side. I don't know for sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace everything, because why not? I don't know what I'm doing. And we'll go from there. 
Okay, now that we've got that marked, I'm just going to go around and take all the staples out that hold the top to the rear tack strips. Okay, now I'm going to lay each piece out on the hood so that I know exactly how it goes. So we'll know this is the passenger side quarter panel. A couple of staples I missed and honestly the tack panel, tack strip is not in bad shape. It's in pretty good shape and it's plastic so it didn't degrade like uh, paper or I don't know what, even what they use on the older cars. That's good to see. Looks like I did this a little bit wrong. Um, we're supposed to leave the window section in place. We're just taking off the uh, top cover right now. Nice. Okay, so this is going to deviate slightly from the service manual just because this top is so deteriorated. What you're supposed to do is you fold the window section and the tack strip after removing the defroster cables. You fold the window section up and over and then you unzip the window. Which is gone because we tore it out because it was totally detached. So I'm not going to worry about unzipping the window section out. Well, you know what I will. Just to make things a little easier for marking. There's also some snap clips that hold the window section onto the frame. You can see this one is already detached. Okay, now I believe there generally is a trim that goes on top of this, held down by these things. The trim is obviously gone, I'm going to have to get it from the junkyard. So that needs to come off, but we're also going to mark the relationship between the top and the frame. I'm also marking between the window section and the top section. And I'll also mark the interior. Okay, now we're going to remove the staples on the third bow. Okay, we have all of the third bow staples removed. And apparently next we need to remove the nut holding on the roof rail tension cable spring down here. Looks like it's a 10 millimeter, but this one is just finger tight. Do that for the other side. Next, we need to remove the quarter panel window weather stripping. It just pulls out apparently. It's like it's glued in there a little bit. Doesn't look like it's in horrible shape. Next, there's three screws here that hold the top onto the quarter panel back here, or the roof rail, I think is what the service manual calls it. Okay, now this roof rail panel, which is what the service manual calls it, pulls out, apparently. Looks like it's glued in place with the, the top fabric behind it, that makes sense. So now we'll go ahead and separate this from the top. And set it aside. We'll also go ahead and take the tension cable out from the little hole over here that it sits in. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we're supposed to lower the top to the midpoint. That's probably
probably about the midpoint. Okay, now we're supposed to remove the header weather stripping. I believe that's this section. Just since the top is so disintegrated, it's a little tricky for me to figure out how this goes. Well, I pretty much destroyed the weather stripping up top. Um, instructions are a little unclear for somebody who's never done upholstery before. I'm sure the terms all make sense to somebody who has. Okay, so the service manual says to remove the top header weather stripping uh, a couple inches so you can get to the screws, which I think I understand now. So we're going to pull this back a little bit. There's a screw back here we're going to take out. There's two of them. I think you see that there's one here that I took out earlier and there's one right there. Okay, and then I believe we need to do it on the other side. Now we're going to remove the whole weather shipping channel. I would have thought there'd be more than two screws at the ends, but it doesn't seem like it. I misunderstood the instructions. All of the weather shipping is to come off the top, and then we separate a little bit off here. But I've already destroyed it, so it all needs to come off anyways. There we go. A little bit of a pain, but we got there. Now we need to mark the location of the top on the header. Now we just remove the staple holding the top onto the header up here. And now the top section should come all the way up. Now you can see we have full access to remove the zipper for the rear window and also these. Um, I don't know what they're really called, just like support things. Uh, these are ripped. I don't know. I haven't unboxed the new top yet. We're going to have to see if it came with this. Hopefully it did. If it didn't, we're going to need to see if we can get new ones or possibly junkyard. So with that, we just about have everything removed. We just have these straps that we need to check on. So let's go ahead and get our new top and box and see what exactly we're working with. Okay, here's our new top. It's a Sierra Auto Tops brand of top, I believe. I got it off of Auto Tops Direct on eBay uh, for a specific reason. They were the cheapest with a glass window. So yeah, I'll link everything in the description. This is the actual top part. This. Not entirely sure what these are for. I'm guessing. Across here, maybe? I don't know. We'll figure that out. Now I'm guessing this is the window section. Looks pretty good. Okay, so first impressions are good enough, I guess. I mean, I don't have a lot of experience with installing tops. I have no experience. So, I mean, everything looks good to me, as far as I can tell. Um, before we do any of the new installation, we are going to need to obviously clean out the well. It's pretty gross. The tears in the top let in a lot of outside so we're going to clean that all up. The well liner on this was just totally destroyed, so I'm going to need to go get one from the junkyard. That's not a big deal. So we'll put that in before we do the top, just because it'll be easier. Then we'll also go ahead and clean up the frame and grease everything up, or lube everything up that needs lubed up, and maybe splash a little bit of paint on some of the rusty parts so that they don't continue rusting. But the tack strips, as far as I can tell, they look totally reusable. Obviously I'm going to need to find new weather stripping. I don't know if you can get new weather stripping or if I'm going to need to try to junkyard it. Either way I will figure that out. And also I will need to figure out this strap. I think we will need to try to junkyard it or manufacture our own just because it doesn't look like the kit came with a new one. So I think I'm going to call it for today. And then tomorrow we will get back on it cleaning everything out.